So this is going to be part two of our advanced scalar tutorial series and today we are going to actually start building an encoder using SESI and in the previous tutorial in part one we explained how SESI works and why we need encoder and decoder and we mentioned that we are going to build an encoder for our type so encoder and decoder encoder means you are converting your types to JSON and decoder you are converting this JSON to your data types in your application. So that's why we have encoder user and encoder or decoder for users. So this is what we are going to actually to be building. We're also going to be exploring what Ceci has given us for free. For instance, for primitive data types like strings, Ceci have given us some free decoders and encoders and we're going to use them and see how we can actually enhance them as well. So the first thing we want to do for us to use um, tools provided by Ceci, we need to add some dependencies. We have the three of them. We have the core. The core, um, SESI core exposes encoders and decoders, encoder and decoder type classes as well as JSON structures and cursors that we can use to traverse and modify JSON trees. More like JSON structure, right? right? SESI parser allows you to pass serialize JSON into abstract syntax tree. So, uh, so this is I'm going to be explaining it a little bit more. So when we say abstract syntax tree, this is what we are talking about in here. So when we use um, the parser, helps you to pass this JSON here into this. So that's why we have the parser. It takes JSON structure and creates the syntax, uh, um, passes into the set of JSON, which we call abstract syntax tree. Generic allows you to derive encoders and decoders automatically using macros. We are going to be seeing how we can actually be deriving decoders and encoders automatically. All right, so let's start from the basics. So the first thing I normally like to do is to set up my print, uh, my display. So for now I'm going to come here and I can play my console and I can, I actually should be in this SBT shell. SBT shell does not allow us to play console, so I'm going to simply use this play right here. Okay, so let me set up my my um, printing my print 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 out display. Right, so what does it mean? So you'll see in a minute. So I'm going to use the minus here, and it's going to be times hundred. And I'm going to use another minus sign here, print line, and it's going to be um, sec. It's going to also be times 100. And if I run this now, you can see that our printout is going to be looking so good. So this is exactly how we want it to be. So whatever is printed, we are not going to be confusing it with the body information. So it's going to be right inside here. Okay, so we are going to be building decoders and decoders for string integer array and object so let's try of course we have string so let's start by saying let's create a string and then we um, decode it using a decoder that's been provided for us so i'm going to create a new string val json string um let me call it my string is equal to kinson the back tech pro so this is my string. You don't have to worry about semicolons. Uh, you're welcome with Scala. And now we want to create a JSON from a string. If you want to create a JSON from a string, do we use an encoder or a decoder? We have to use an encoder to encode this JSON into a string. Remember, what we are talking about is encoders for now, right? Good. Okay. So to do that, I'm, go I'm going to say val well, my string json is equal to my string now i'm going to use a construct provided by uh by sessi so i'm going to say json dot uh ah we missed out something so we have to add this dependency so that we can use import the libraries into our code so you have to add these dependencies inside your build the build build the sbt and once you add it you simply refresh so that it can download these dependencies to your class part and so we are going to wait for a second so you can see what's happening here in the extracting structure so it takes a, a few seconds so let's see um, so i think it's all done let's see so why do we have this refresh project mm, that is fine okay um 
yeah so if i come here at this point so we can import so I'll, i can now say oh sorry let's do the import post i have the sassy json so json let's scroll to where we are so json dot from string and specify our string right so this is what we have now there's something you should know when we are decoding and encoding a string like my string is a string right this is our string and this is the json there is no difference in this case but in the internal representation uh, they are different this is either sassy.json while this is a string so this is an encoded version of this so let's print out the two and see if there's any difference i don't think there will be any difference so this is going to be my string let's print out my string first and let's print out the second line to be my string json and let's just kind of play our console and then we are going to run uh so yeah so we have an error so import either size of json so it tells us um so why does it do this uh, i think we have to refresh the project refresh projects um come here this okay so sometimes this happens so what i'm going to do now is simply to uh let's say file civil and i'm going to just restart the project from here so in this case i added some new dependencies so i think we have to uh, restart the 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 build so i think at this point it should work okay so this is fine so i'm going to just click on run scalar the uh, run scalar here and let's wait for a sec um says um compiling recursive let's see uh, json does from string um okay so uh yeah so i think i've messed up this so it's gonna be actually my string that's what you're going to be doing here and uh, let me play my console here i'm going to save everything and at this point you can see the two of them yeah so the second one is a json as you can see json has to be enclosed in quotes but this is a string in our class right so let's do the same for int so if we have an integer a valid integer let's say val my int is gonna be 40 54 and val uh, my int json um, int json is going to be uh, json dot from int now you have from number from whatever so from int and uh, we give it my int and at this point I'm going to change this to my int my int and my in json okay so at this point if i save everything we are going to have just click file save all and we should have the two so in json integers are not enclosing quotes and we have this so i'm going to kind of create another um json object and also convert and code it into create another string and encode it into json so i'm going to call this my string 2 and my string json 2 and that's going to be my string 2 right um yeah okay so we have coins on the jeans the piano man because i also play the piano on piano man all right so now I want to create a string, uh, a JSON string. So the first thing we want to do, we want to create, sorry, not a string, but an array, because this is where we are at the moment. So we want to work with array now. How do we create array? Of course, we, we can say my array, val well, my array is equal to, we have, let's say, kinds of, and we have of now and we have all the, okay so i think <laughs> i forgot how to create array right so i'm going to say array and uh, then specify this way so these are array so this array in um in scala so i want to convert this array onto um 
onto JSON in Scala. So we want to encode this array. So the first thing we need to do is we have to encode all of these one by one. All right, so let me show you a shortcut. So one thing we can do, we can encode them right inside here. So we can, inside here, we can say JSON dot from, uh, we can say inside here, JSON dot, yeah. So now we have this array, right? So we have to encode this one by one. Uh, so we can have JSON dot from, like we encoded this string, but the shortcuts, so instead of using JSON dot from string, we can actually say, uh, my string, my string dot JSON. All right, my string dot JSON, but we actually need to import uh, the parser. So I'm going to import the parser, import io dot cc dot parser dot star. Okay, so if I come here, I can say the JSON dot uh, dot as JSON. Why does it not work? Um, let's see. I have a sexy dot parser. Let's see. It's I have a sexy dot syntax dot underscore, right? So I think this is where it is. Okay. So using this shortcut, you can actually convert every uh, string to JSON very easily. So here you can say as JSON, and you can simply say as JSON as well, JSON, and you also convert this to JSON as JSON. Yeah, so if you have this array, if you have this array right here, that does not mean that you've actually uh, converted an array to encoded array into JSON. So to do that, you are going to say here, you have to say json.r. So json.r is going to convert my array to my array JSON, so my array JSON. So my array JSON converts this array into JSON. So it's not just um, uh, just one step. You have to convert individual items into the array inside the array into JSON, right? So again, you can also convert them to JSON separately and then create your JSON like this. So in this case, we have the converted one, the converted one in my website. You have them here, but here in my uh, this video, I'm converting them in place, right? So if I print out my array JSON, if I print out my array JSON, my array JSON, and I'm going to clear, I'm going to save everything. You'll see that we have the array uh, JSON. So this is array JSON. I mean, this is encoded version of the array, right? That's what we have here. We just encoded into JSON. So for now, I'll be stopping here so that this video doesn't take so long, uh, so much time. In the nice part, we now try to encode objects. Uh, we have now custom objects we have to build. Uh, then we try to see if we can encode it into JSON. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. Also, leave me a comment if you have any challenges following my class. I remain trying to on the Tech Pro and we see in the nice, in the nice part.